Here is a Clarity telephone. This is model E814CC. I have absolutely zero experience with Clarity telephones uh, or any of their products for that matter. So I thought this would be an interesting uh, thing to do a video of. Uh, I got this at the thrift store. It appears to be used. Um, it's not super dirty, but it's definitely got some dirt on it. It looks like it's all complete except for the mounting bracket for the base. But fortunately it's one of those ones that you can use without it. The cord looks new. Uh, which I find kind of odd because the handset does not look new. Came with a phone cord too, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Okay, we got the phone connected now. These are just some cheap batteries from the television set remote, so. Um, I'm not sure if these are actually going to work to power the phone or not. Out of range or no power at base. So right off the bat it looks like this uh, is some kind of an AT&T made telephone. Appears to have this similar operating system. Um, I don't remember what the date is so we'll just do whatever. The uh, buttons aren't working very well in this at all. Oh yeah, this is definitely uh, AT&T made or Advanced American Telephones or whatever they call themselves nowadays. Interesting. Makes a strange sound. All right, let's get a line connected to this here. Buttons hardly work at all. have to go off speakerphone here. No, I don't think I can get it off speakerphone. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna plug it directly into the phone line here because I can't get a good, uh, good test with how much feedback there is on this. Alright, let's try that again. com forward slash insights people's united bank and a member fdic today is thursday november 15th people's united bank time 720 current temperature 30 degrees east winds gusting to 35 that's pretty loud 
and this speakerphone that actually sounded really good and the volume was good uh, not bad let's take a look at the bass here Good evening. Know-how handles big dreams for... Also sounds pretty good. Remember, FDIC an equal opportunity lender. Today is... Yeah, that's so uh, loud. You have to be have deaf to not be able to hear that thing. All right, um, let's see what kind of rings we have on here. That was loud. I may just have a standard set of AT&T ringtones. There we go. of different ringtones on there. Uh, we get out of here. Please go away. How do we get clear? There we go. That's not impressive, the ring volume. Let's see how good the ring is on the handset. It's got a nice screen to it, very, very uh, readable. Oh, it's got different ringtones. And that's the end of the batteries. Well, <laughs> uh, my initial opinions, I uh, quite like this handset actually. I like the big buttons and the the volume seems really good on it which admittedly is the one area where Uniden's loud and clear phones always fell short was on the handset the speaker phone volume was never that good and especially the ringer volume was not very good um, so from what I can see so far uh, excuse me from what I can see so far this handset seems to have kind of an edge over the Uniden ones um, of course, the buttons also don't work, so that's uh, a different story. But anyways, I like it off uh, offhand from what I can see so far. The handset, not too fond of. It's really small, and you know how is that ergonomic? Um, but the cordless phone, I like the cordless phone. 